Okay, we're going to move to very, very common fungal infections. And here we see this so often. I can't see say how often we see people coming in with toes like these. And these are these are relatively young toes uh, to have an infection like this. That they get thick, right? They get a little shiny, they get a little yellowish. They break off. They don't grow out nice and normally. Now we don't have an explanation of why um, you have normal toes and then some of them that are infected. Uh, some of them can infect. Some of them don't. Not sure why. Why aren't all of them infected? What happens is if you give them, give them a little daylight, a little break, like you see toe number two over here, as opposed to this one, which is nice and sealed, they'll get in there, and that's when they'll infect. So there are topical treatments, and then you have oral treatments, sporin, oxalamisil, that flu can. Um, same thing that treats a vaginal yeast infection can help with these. I usually give it for a longer term. They say you're only supposed to use it for three months or 90 days. It doesn't work. You know, they, it comes back real, more quickly if you treat it for a shorter period of time. I usually give it for about six months, and then that's our best chance of, of having a good cure rate. We have to test the liver, of course, do a blood count. Um, we also have Key Pharmacy locally is a compounding pharmacy, and they make a topical in DMSO, which penetrates the hard keratin of the skin. It's like a nail polish. So it's a nail polish, but in the nail polish, they, they put in a powder, they mix in a powder that's the same antifungal, these tablets that they put in the powder, and it penetrates through the thick nail over here, and actually, I haven't had a patient that it hasn't worked on. Really, really well. So people that have a bad liver or can't take these medications because there's a lot of drug interactions with these medications. Again, like I said, I was really into technology. And I have on my trio here, we have a program called Epocrates, for example. And I'll pull it out very, very often, probably every other patient, where we can have a little device, a little program, where we can plug in all the patient's medications, plug in Lamisil, let's say, for example, for Donald, and it'll tell us if it interacts or not. Can we give it to them or not? Very, very interesting. So I have to give a prescription, wait for them to go to the pharmacy and say, oh, or, or pick it up, actually pay for it. Pay a copay, $40, $50 copay. They say, oh, well, can't take it or there's a reaction. You can actually check beforehand uh, very easily. And it gets updated wirelessly. Twice a week, you get updates if there are new drugs out there and what their interactions are. So insurance companies are actually covering this these days? Or they are. Once upon a time, they were not. So, yes. Yeah. They're, they're more friendly. You know why? Because they've gone generic. Uh -huh. Yeah, they've gone generic, so they're not so expensive for them to pay out on. So uh, that's why they're a little more friendly. So here's a common one, what we call ringworm, right? Ringworm, because they, they grow like a ring, you know, right? All around, all the scalp to borders over there that you can see, right? Um, and again, uh, if it gets into the hair, it's, very, it's more dangerous because it could lead to scarring. You can lose patches of hair, so we want to treat this pretty aggressively and not let it go too far. Gyms are a big cause nowadays. Um, of, of uh, fungal infections. We're all sharing the same bathroom, the same seats, the same towels, and that kind of thing. So we see a lot more of it as a result of the sports age. Um, tinea versicolor, this is one where what, if you have light skin, it shows up dark, versi color, changes color. If you have dark skin, it shows up light. And it's really uh, interesting in that in Africa, there are well, sort of like leper colonies. There are colonies of people that have this simple fungus that you can treat with two tablets and they, they think they have leprosy because they're losing the color on their skin. It's really just a fungus. And they, they quarantine them you know, away from their families, away from the tribe, away from the community, just because they have a little fungus like this. Because on dark skin, it really, really is uh, very evident um, and is socially unacceptable there. But it's unfortunately very simple to treat with topical creams, even like Lotrimin over the counter. You got a big enough tube, you can wipe Lotrimin all over this a couple times a day for a couple weeks and it'll go away. Now, it has a high recurrence rate. Once you get it, there's a likelihood that you might get it again and again. Um, so you have to treat it, wait till summer comes, repigment the areas that are kind of white. The sun will naturally stimulate the pigment, and then you're okay. That's a common one that we see. As we spoke about before, What's happening here is he had an infection for such a long time on his scalp that that's it. There's no recourse anymore. He grew himself a nice little bald spot there. The hair won't grow. Just from the simple little fungus. He could have what were the symptoms? I mean, did he have itching or anything? Or? A little bit of itching, you know, not, not. So this, you know, for? not yet. You have to really be able to have somebody see you or consult a physician because very mild symptoms. Mm -hmm. Very, very mild. It doesn't hurt that much. Shingles. I'm sure everybody has heard of shingles. What's fantastic about shingles is that in kids now, the pediatric, American Academy of Pediatrics, and in the geriatric population, for somebody who has not had shingles yet or chickenpox yet, there's a vaccine. You can actually get vaccinated um, so that you won't get the shingles later on in your life because it's very, very painful. It's very, very painful. 
It can have permanent nerve damage because it follows the line of a nerve. Uh, some people have to be on pain medication for years and years and years because the infection, the infection here of the chickenpox virus is what causes this, can go along the nerve and irritate the nerve so badly that it just causes chronic pain. So that's why I wrote on here pain control is very important for these. And if we can treat it early, if we see it within the first three days, the first 72 hours, and we get people on famcyclovir or valacyclovir, if you've heard, seen commercials maybe for Valtrex or, or famvir, you know, if you've heard of acyclovir, that was the old one, these are the newer generation ones, um, they were great. If we can get on, get on top of this early, they're, they're far less side effects.